Hey, we are today in beautiful Amsterdam to solve one question. Why basically don't we all use recycled filament yet? We all use standard filament from the big suppliers we buy on e-commerce marketplaces most of the time. Basically what we're looking for is good reviews and the technical specifications, but the true question is why don't we use recycled filament? Because honestly, it's brilliant. We take certain resources that have already been wasted, take them from the waste, recycle them, and from it, due to 3D printing, we can make basically anything out of it. So the question is, why don't we use it? And we have been lately a lot experimenting around recycled filament, creating something new from it, and it really works. So the question is, what can it already achieve currently in 2022? What can we do with it and is it worth the money? This is why we're here to check out today in Amsterdam, one of the most innovative cities when it comes to plastic recycling. And we're going to meet with Reflow, one of the biggest startups in that space when it comes to recycled filament. My name is Ronan Hayes and I am a co-founder of Reflow and I head up uh, sales and marketing at this uh, great social enterprise. Our concept was initially that um, we would recycle plastic waste, we would design an, an extrusion lab, so a set of tools to recycle um, and form 3D printing filament. And seven years later, it's, we've grown up a lot and there's, we, we look at things quite differently. That's still a nexus. So what we realized was the basic problem we were solving was right in front of us. 90% of the 3D printing industry at that time was running on virgin materials still a hangover from the same fossil fuel industry that produced all the plastic waste we see around us. So what we needed to do was produce even a small number of ranges of excellent recycled 3D printing materials because we knew that if we couldn't prove recycled was at the same standard as virgin, there was no business. And we essentially spent two and a half years on just delivering two material groups to that standard. Our most popular uh, since last year is definitely our, our mat um, or PLA. Um, so I guess people think the printing performance is, is, is pretty excellent and the matte finish means that even though it's a recycled material, it essentially looks like it's line free. So that's a lot of work. Um, so it took a couple of years for us and for some other companies to figure out how to do that on a consistent basis, how to use multiple recyclers and streams to produce the same product which is part of the, part of the, the magic. Um, but I think uh, what we're seeing now is, is a massive increase in the willingness to use recycled materials. So uh, we're actually seeing a shift the other way. I think around two or three years ago, people just wanted to produce their items. But as you know, sustainability as a concept becomes the norm for our generation, and as legislation builds up around it, um, people are going to now nine times out of ten go to choose the recycled or sustainable option. So I actually see a very exciting um, time in the very near future. And then I think the second part of it is the types of people using 3D printing now. So uh, before um, 3D printing was, was perhaps, while it was excited and was hyped and talked about, it was still a niche tool and now we're seeing um, a complete openness to 3D printing as a design tool for people in furniture design, in architecture, in lighting, in f functional tooling, in product design. It's becoming one of the standard tools of the suite and with that becomes a higher demand for sustainability. There's so many things we could do to, to create a better um, a circular system around 3D printing materials but step one is definitely starting with recycled materials and thinking about end of life. As we have seen from Ronan, recycled filaments are here to stay and are technically absolutely equal to virgin plastics. And honestly, it's the best way to go in terms of sustainability. So if you want to know more about Reflow, check out their homepage and Instagram, of course. And if you want to know more about our works with their PETG and PLA series, um, stay tuned. We're going to be releasing our works um, with it. And up to now, we've been super happy. If you already had your first um, experiences with Reflow or with any other recycled filaments, let us know in the comments.